I'm Jason, Friday the 13th, Douglas. Hi, I'm Denton Daly. Personally, I don't like Denton. This is a guy that I trained with for two years. He said we were friends. I don't know what kind of friends he, he's thinking. Always offered to, you know, bring him with me to Toronto to train, you know, go do some running. Even drive this guy home sometimes. The very next day, he started talking about how I'm afraid of him. I'm gonna prove to everyone he's a douchebag. Jason Douglas is a pure amateur. If he wants to come and bring the fight, beautiful. If he wants to run around, great. I'm a, I can adapt. We're gonna fight on September 8th. I'm a grown man, I don't run around and hide. I'm gonna show Denton, I'm gonna teach Denton to have some respect. I've been shutting people up my entire life. I fought for almost a year. I'm excited about the fight. You know, I'm self-motivated. We had never even spoken his name once during our entire training. I've been asking for a lot of fights and people have been avoiding them. Jason was not a guy that could ever, you know, match me in the ring. I'm going to be like Bruce Lee and uh, counter his attacks. One here actually is gonna be very, very fun for me. Boom. We're ready to go for the main event. Let's go to the ring. Here's Thomas Driver. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the ring, fighting tonight out of the red corner, dangerous Denton Daly. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the ring, fighting tonight out of the blue corner, Jason, Friday the 13th, Douglas. Jason Douglas, Friday the 13th, playing it to the hilt, coming into the ring, 32 years of age, 10 and four with four knockouts, and this man is looking to put on a show. As you see, he's coming into the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, right now at this time, I ask that you all please rise, and gentlemen, remove your caps as we welcome 
Canadian singer, songwriter, and recording artist, Tyler Rose, to perform the national anthem. Thank you very much to Tyler Rose. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our featured bout. It is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing in the cruiserweight division. It is being brought to you by United Boxing Promotions, along with their great sponsors, TransClean Protein and Jay Cox Harley Davidson. It is sanctioned by the Office of the Athletics Commissioner Ken Hayashi. Our three judges assigned, scoring on a 10 point must system, will be Kelly Zolnirchek, Alan Davis, and Harry Davis. When the bell rings, our referee in charge, the third man in the ring, will be Rocky Zolnirchek. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Hershey Center here in Mississauga, Ontario, this is our main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, he's wearing black trunks with silver, and weighed in at 191 pounds. Coming to us from Brampton, Ontario, he brings a undefeated record of six wins, and three of his six wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dangerous Denton Dealey. And his opponent across the ring in this main event scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. He's fighting tonight out of the blue corner. Wearing red trunks with black, he weighed in at 189 and a half pounds. Hailing from Kitchener, Ontario, his record consists of 10 wins, four defeats, with four wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Canada's number one ranked cruiserweight, Jason Friday the 13th, Douglas. Okay guys, I went over the instructions in the change room. I want you to obey my commands at all times. You know what? Protect yourself at all times. Got any questions in this corner? Any questions in this corner? Yeah, I got a question. 
What are you going to put on Facebook after I kick your ass? Yeah. Oh my! Back to your corner. Either you got questions? Yeah, what's he going to do after I... Well, I guess we all heard it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It shows the type of fight Denton wants this to become. They've got one common opponent between them, and that's Frank White, who Denton Daly took out earlier in 2012. Douglas's last fight was against Frank White a year ago. Bit of a layoff for Jason Douglas as well. Both these guys taking that time, finding that home with that jab. You know, when all said and done, they show a lot of respect when this thing started up. Yeah, right away they wanted they want to make sure they know that both these guys could have came out with punch of blazing from the beginning of the fight, but they're setting it off off of boxing right away with that jab. Set the tone of that jab to the body upstairs. Nice uppercut there from Daly. We talk about the hand speed of Denton Daly, and he picks up his opponent. And I don't know what to say about that. And he's holding it there. He held him there for at least seven seconds in the air. Let's see if this fight goes a distance. How that affect Daly's legs? Thank you know what I mean? He can play the mind games as well, and will Jason Douglas, who came in with the mask and the Jason Friday the 13th clothing. There's a time when all the words go by the wayside, and you got to get down to brass tacks. Though. Right away. And the thing is, the one thing Denton Daly seems to be dropping that left hand off of that jab is want to see if Jason Douglas can just step back half an inch and just start reading that right hand where he's just overthrowing it just a little bit. Good body shots downstairs, good two punch to the body, trying to finish back up top from Jason Douglas. Yeah, Douglas with a combination and wants to be moving back to the middle of the ring, and he's throwing that couple, he's doubling up with the jab and coming with the overhand right. He's done that three or four times in the early going here in this first round. Body shot with that right hand to the body there from Jason Douglas. Douglas is playing it low, coming out of his corner, right going low to the body, and he's connected a couple of times there. And you know, Denton Daly, as good as he looks in the ring, those body shots take their toll as we go through this eight round event. Yeah, 100%. And the thing is, he keeps dictating the pace, Douglas is, with that, those big shots to the body. He's throwing a lot of the big shots you see him right there downstairs to try to finish back up top on Denton Daly. First round in the books. You know, Roger, I gotta go right back to you after that first round. How are we gonna score something like this coming out of the gates? Oh, I was just gonna say that's a tough round to score. I might give it to Douglas, but it's a pick em round. Really, the judges could go either way with that one. Although Daly was smart not to body slam him, or he could have had a point or two deducted. You see him right here, where he's just stepping back and just trying to find a nice little home with that nice short uppercut. But it's coming back too high where that little jab just got him a little bit distracted. Did nothing on it, but just pushing him back where he's off balance just a touch. Just prior to that uppercut, he got caught with a bit of a shot of his own while trying to get inside from that uppercut. And you know if Douglas connects with a little more power and a little more flat-footedness, he can drop him on one of those. Yeah, and, and you think Douglas seems like he's a little more stable on his legs when he's getting those big shots off in comparison to Denton. But Denton just has to calm down a little bit and get and get and get the fluid the fluid, the fluency of boxing going i don't think sid vanderpool was happy with some of those antics from daily no not at all sid's been there before he's trying to tell tell probably tell it not that don't get caught up 
Nice right hand over the top yeah. from Denton Daly. Daly doing a good job right now in this second round, establishing himself, trying to get back to where he was and come in with the same fight, fight preparation that Sin Vanderpool had put forth for him. Nice right, right hands to the body. Good right hooks, right uppercuts upstairs to the body there from Douglas. Again, pushed against the ropes is Douglas. And he gives Daly a look like, come on, guy, let's get back into the actual fight. Denton Daly, back pedals. Douglas looks to step in with the right. Nice, nice left. Stiff jab there from Denton Daly. A good left from Daly. And a nice and right overhand hand. right coming from Jason Douglas. Douglas goes right back to the body. Daly with a bit of a smirk coming out of that. Oh, and over the top. Douglas just missed on that one. And this is where I think Denton's got to set the tone. He's getting through that nice stiff jab like he's doing right there. But he starts putting some punches together instead of winging some big shots. He might be over and trying to blast this guy out instead of just picking the shots with those nice straight shots and he's setting the tone off. And Jason coming back with a nice straight jab. But he's overthrowing himself or getting himself just in too tight a position to get that right hand off. Denton Daly doing a good job to he knows when he finds himself in a corner, he's spinning out very easily, and he knows he can do that. It's one of the few times he's been able to do that, but Jason Douglas has been able to match him in that aspect. Nice left hook to the body there from Denton, and nice left hook over the top. He's got also, him staggered. Douglas coming back with a left hook over the top as well. Nice right hook, throwing the right snap, trying to come right back. Douglas has never been stopped. It Douglas. looks like Douglas starting to find a little range and a little room with that right hand. Right by the airline of Denton Daly. Rocky's a hair shot. Just missing third man in the big right hands. Making sure these guys are able to connect and the second round comes to a close. Well, Gentlemen, I had Douglas taking that first round, but I'm going to give that second round to Denton Daly. I've scored the same. It's uh, one round apiece, and it's uh, like we talked about. We thought it would be uh, a humdinger, and it's uh, certainly been a, a great fight so far through two rounds. When these guys are landing the shots in comparison to the other fights that we've seen this evening outside of the heavyweight fights, you can hear the big pops yeah. on the shots there. Here's you see another replay right here. You know, we saw it. We saw it daily. We saw it daily, and then we see the Jason Douglas come right back. A flurry from Daly. Douglas seems to be able to come right back. But you see it also getting through. Nice left hook. Both these guys landing big left hooks on the exchange right here on the replay. And then Douglas coming back, working to the body. And big right hands for both of these guys. This is championship boxing at its best. Dangerous Denton Daly in the black and gold trimmed with white. Jason, Friday the 13th, Douglas in red trimmed in black and white. And Denton's just got to bring those hands right back. He, he's dropping that left hand when he fires his left hand. And, and, and Daly, if, if Daly can just read it a little bit, nice one-two combination there from Denton Daly. If Daly can just, uh, Douglas can just read Stepping back off of that jab from Denton Daly, he might get through just off of the mistake of dropping his hand, dropping that left hand. Nice, com nice combination there from Douglas. Yeah, Douglas comes in, pulls it up nicely, and Daly comes back with a right of his own. Catching mostly glove of Jason Douglas. Daly slips out of that one. The game plan early on for Jason Douglas was go to the body of Denton Daly. 
Daly looks ripped, but can he hold up to the body punishment throughout an eight-round battle? The one thing that Daly's doing a, a little bit wrong, I'll say, is that he's had that left hand that he keeps stepping down with, or even when he's trying to step away, he's pulling up so high that Douglas gets through in some looping shots. It might not be telling, but even if his forearm hits you on your neck, it's draining. Left jab keeping Douglas at bay. Now, Daly comes in with it. Daly. He's got that left hand. Oh! oh connects with a big right! Big right hand there. Nice Daly telling. over top of that left jab of Jason Douglas, and he dropped that one right on the jaw. Roger talked about it earlier. Douglas has not been dropped yet. Denton Daly getting through with those, those nice one-two combinations. But you don't want to see a different tempo of shots. Put another two on top of those. Where it have, it'll have Douglas backpedaling a little bit instead of being right in front of him. Oh, Daly again, backpedaling, throws an uppercut, connects. Then a good combination to follow it up. Goes for the body shot. Douglas over top. A nice one too again. It should have stepped back as we're talking about to fire some more shots. There's a slip on both aspects. Both fighters going down. Just throwing some wild punches in there right now. Over anxious, and those things should be telling later on throughout the fight. Roger, we saw this in Death Daly's last fight. And that was the drop to the hands and that little bit of showboat dancing. With a guy like Jason Douglas in the ring, it could be a little different result than the last fight we saw. It could be. In a couple fights ago, he let Kiros hit him. He put his hands down, yep. invited him to hit him. He can't do that against Friday the 13th, and uh, he can't put his hands down. You saw him. Got a little cocky there, and Douglas, he's that veteran. He's going to catch him. Ryan, there's confidence, there's cockiness, and then there's downright, and I'm not saying what he's doing is, but then there's stupidity. And you can't let a big shooter like Jason Douglas get a free shot in. Let's check out the replay right here. Boom, with that nice right hand and slipping out of the way and getting in tight that there's no room for Douglas to fire no more shots after that. The thing is, you do not, as you said there, Doug, you cannot get careless at any point in time during the fight because all it takes is one shot to change the whole scenario of a match. One thing both of these fighters have proven so far is they can take one right square to the chin. And another right hand, one, two, nice and smooth, right over the top there from Denton Daly. Douglas almost pawing at him like he's a little unsure if he should go for a direct hit combination and Daly packs away and comes through with a couple of body shots of his own. And whipping those big uppercuts to the body downstairs on Douglas. Nice job by Daly to cover up. He gets hit though with a right hand as he tried to come in. Throwing a hook of his own. Uppercut. Go for the combination and connects. And a nice big right hand right over the top there. But you got to give Douglas some credit, man. He's got a nice chin that he's taking these shots and looking like they're not even affecting him. Nice right uppercut to the body there from Daly. Daly doing a good job of moving Douglas around the ring and setting him up for the combinations that he wants to throw. But Douglas, as I said, keeps coming back with a combination of his own. Douglas getting those shots on the inside. He just wants to somewhat let that right hand go just half a second before he, he actually is letting it go and get it, see if he get it right at the chin line instead of right by the ear line of Daly. Tied up one more time. Daly. We're going to break away from Douglas. Douglas comes over the right as they break. And nice one, right too.
pulls a veteran move out of his back pocket. And now Denton's just got to be just proper in his approach, and he's just raining shots on Douglas. Douglas doing his best to stay on top, but Denton Daly is showing why he's the oh. most dangerous. Trying to put him out of the ring, and Rocky steps in as Douglas goes down yet a second time. Oh, now inside the ring, we got a problem between Daly and the Douglas corner as they're getting close to each other. And the fireworks we had before the fight are taking their way after the fight. And the thing is, knowing both of these camps, you do not want to see any of this thing go off that way. You don't want to see, this is, this is the point we were talking about before the telecast. This sport here is a gentleman's game. You can't, uh, of course the animosity, yeah, that's a little bit distasteful of, of the ref is stopping the fight and he kept going off with that right hand. But you have to learn how to compose yourself in the corner and as 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 your coaches. You can't go off trying to make it seem like you're trying to fight a fighter when a fighter just finished fighting. Steve Baller get into the mix right there in front of Denton Daly. Steve Baller should know better. You're a world champion, you're a former world champion. You can't be going off like that. Wow, what an ending to this fight. Dangerous Ed Daly backed up his words, though. He came out with some devastating shots. Two minutes, 35 seconds of round number four. Our referee, Rocky Zolnierczak steps in your winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated dangerous Denton Daly the fourth TKO for Denton Daly I'll He's tell you seven this, and oh. I'll tell you this now Doug this could be a good and a bad thing tasteful distasteful with the fashion that he tried to close the show getting those extra shots when the guy's already out on the stepping ropes stepping over the opponent stepping over the guy you know what you, you, you don't need to do that but at the same time an impressive performance again from oh Denton man Daly. was that impressive Denton Daly showed from round one right through not only can he take a big punch and he took enough of them from Jason Douglas but he can certainly land the big ones when he wants to and he showed some flurries of combinations that were dare I say championship life oh yes and and and, and showing that that hunger of when he's seeing that his opponents hurt taking advantage of the opportunity and closing out the show right there an impressive impressive performance from dangerous Denton Daly oh my what a main event we got here let's go to the ring here's our own Roger Wardell with the dangerous one Denton Daly Thank you, Doug. I'll just try to get in here with Denton, if I could grab a word with you. Have to ask you about the end of the fight there. Looked like Douglas was over the top of the ropes and maybe defenseless. What's your take on what, what transpired at the very end? I've always been trained, you know. You don't stop until the guy's down. He, I thought he was using the rope as a defense because he threw himself onto the ropes. So I just wanted to make him pay for it. But I didn't think he was completely out. I was trying to make him out, but I didn't know. There was some bad blood between you guys before the fight. Is it settled now in the ring? You know what? You know what? There was some bad blood. I'm not sure exactly sure where it came from, but uh, you know what it is? You're bad blood, but when you fight, you gain that respect. You know what I mean? He taught me a thing or two about respect, and you know what I'm saying? You give him a respect as a fighter. I mean, I like him as a person, but as a fighter, he can fight. Thanks for your time. Hey, thank you. I just want to say, guys, thanks again for coming out and supporting me, everybody. Thanks a lot. One second, one second, one second, one second. Just can't hear. I want to give a very big shout out to my nephew, Rasan, that's in the crowd. It's his first time seeing me fight. Also, my homeboy, Chad McPherson, and my homegirl, Giselle McPherson, had a nice wedding last weekend. And I just want to congratulate them, and God bless them through their marriage and for future endeavors. Thank you, Denton. Doug, back to you.